<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Ta-da! What do you think? Oh my days! Babs me want cotton tail costume too. <laughs> uh, maybe it's those new horse sprouted horns. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders 2. We are back in town, and we have finished the uh, fixing up the tunnels. We have the tracks all the way up to the town, <clears throat> and now we're returning back for some more story. Uh, word about town is you got all the tunnels back open. That's marvelous. I never doubted you for a second. Thanks a million. Once the metal starts flowing into this town, it gets the buzz back. You'll see. Come on, let's go tell Golden Rocks and arrest old lads the good news. You do favors for me. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, everyone. Me plob. It's bleeding gorgeous with swanky gaff like this. At their local gap <laughs> at their local the miners will be digging up more metal than we know what to do with and Babs is going to become a dancing girl too it's a celebration time oh my giggity aunt me dreams are coming true all at once he <laughs> that's the spirit boys celebration times just like we had that festival with the pumpkins and like the harvest day is this what's happening, but instead it's that it's Babs dancing? <laughs> uh, still work t t ain't still our work ain't done yet. We found all the we found so far copper, iron, and a bit of coal. All the gold and silver must be buried somewhere much deeper. Okay, so gold and silver will be at one time, I guess, right? Just like the the copper and uh, iron. I get it. So we're a little bit further than I might have guessed, but then he would get go from silver to gold quite quickly, wouldn't he? If we're getting it both at the same time. So maybe not. Uh, hey, there's more than we just metal down there. The old tales to tell the mystical treasure and hidden temples. Maybe you'll be the ones to find them. All right. More quests. What up? Gold the rocks. Thank you again for doing favors. Thank you, everyone. If we keep if we keep going at this right, it's only a matter of time before we strike gold, literally. Oh Babs, you melt my metal heart. You so kind. I ain't as kind as all that. Uh, the only reason I want to turn you back into golem, gold golem, is so the golden age will return to the crum crumbledom. Me understand, Babs. Dreams my dreams too. We bring back golden age, then we get married. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave the lovebirds to it, Johnny. You and I should head back down to the mine and get all these stories about treasure and templates have got me all fired up. Yeah, you should go take a look. Before you get go gallivanting back off to the tunnels, let me thank you once again. So here, thanks. <clears throat> All right, going for gold. Let's do this, Johnny. You know what that means. The pub's done and the tunnels are mended. We've done exactly what Babs asked, so it's time for the main event. <clears throat> Babs, Babs, you, uh, Babs. Keep your air on, Digby, I can hear ya. We, we've done everything you asked, it's time to pull your ditch and shoes where your mouth is. Well, I promise, I promise, I suppose, here it goes. Nothing. Sorry, lads, but I ain't quite ready yet. Something's missing. Something important. But don't worry. I want to see my, myself in a cottontail costume just as much as the lot of you. I'll give you a shot when I'm ready. What does she mean something's missing? You wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you, Johnny, eh? <laughs> 
Boom. Uh, so you've got the tunnels uh, on the top of the level back in action, eh? Uh, not, not for a spindle shaped sprog. Now our output's uh, bound to go through the roof. The next evening report can't come soon enough. More importantly, we're getting even closer to the legendary day that Babs becomes a dancer. I need to pump me pecs and tell me traps so she notices me. <laughs> Babs become dancing girl soon? Well, uh, Golden Rocks, are you ear wigging again? Get out of that. No, can't help it. Me too big. Get in people's way. Stay here. Listen and watch instead. Me like Babs. Like to hear about Babs. Maybe marry Babs one day. Mary, you're going to go blimey. Uh, I've got a stiff competition. I'll have to train harder than ever before to get my muscles bigger than Billy Brick biceps over there. <laughs> Alright, you guys, you know what? I, I, I started the recording because uh, I thought this m was a big story event and it would be rather important to do that. But I was actually about to take a break and take uh, go take a nap. I need a nap. I got up at 4.30 this morning. Which you guys probably heard about like three, four episodes ago. I just been playing this freaking all day. So I got a whole... What? Why am I... Oh, my controller literally just turned off. My batteries must be dying. Um, so yeah. I need a little nap. A couple hour nap. Get back to this. So what I'll end up doing is uh, I'll just sew the recordings together. And it'll be like... I was never gone. All right. So, I'll see you guys in a spiffy. Bye now. <laughs> and just like that, we are back from a nap. <laughs> and that my nap ended up being like a six hour sleep. <laughs> Not much of a nap. I guess I was a little tired, more tired than I thought I was. Um, funny thing is, it's a little side tangent before we get started again. Uh, today is December 23rd, and I have my first episode of this game being scheduled for today. So the time you guys are, uh, you're, t I'm Johnny from the future. You guys would have already watched like freaking 20 episodes by the time this one, uh, you're all watching this one. But yet, at the time that I'm making this one, today's first episode is going up. So I'm definitely ahead of the uh, schedule in terms of uh, building these episodes out. So I got plenty of time to continue playing and releasing episodes and it's appearing like I might actually do a full-fledged Let's Play on this game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it because I've already recorded like freaking 20 episodes and I'm just so into it that I don't want to stop. So Let's Plays aren't really my thing and this might be the first game that kind of converts me into doing them more often. So if you guys enjoy this, let me know down in the comments and uh, maybe we'll look into doing other Let's Play games in the future. Now I also want to get into uh, spacing in some uh, some of the spotlights and things in between so I have to figure out how I do that on the schedule. But right now things have been scheduled to be uh, one video a day. So obviously if, if you're watching this now you would have seen one video a day for quite some time now. Um, but yeah, I just got to get into a rhythm of how I want to do things. But in order to feature things, I feel like I got to space it in between the Let's Plays. So I got some stuff to figure out still. But uh, this channel, this this game should be prevalent on the channel for the foreseeable future. I would imagine going in, into at least February. Uh, simply because if I'm only releasing one a day, I feel like this is going to be a, a 60 hour, 60 episode Let's Play. So quite a big game indeed, but uh, I'm having fun with it, so why stop? Uh, but with all the community shared stuff, what, we, what we're going to sit down and create between me, uh, Synchros, and Zelixor, uh, there's a lot of renewable content and, and stuff that we can make videos on. And I'm also considering adding in, I mean, you, you probably know by now, but <clears throat> there, they sh there may or may not be a uh, section in Discord for this game in the Planet Coaster Discord, the creative community Discord. So something where you can share your screenshots, party up with people, play, and uh, invite me to come check out your creations. All right, with that out of the way, let's dive into some more quests. Johnny, Bab said there's something missing, some important reason she can't become Dancing Girl right now. What's Rabbit, Rabbit on Autobot? I can't understand that. Something missing. What could she be? Hmm. 
Oh, I think I got an idea. I reckon it's because the miners ain't muscly enough. Uh, if we beefed up a bit, Babs, be back to toe tapping mood in no time. <laughs> Was that you? You think I'm barking up the wrong tree? What are you trying to pull, eh? I don't see you coming up with no bright ideas, so this is the best we've got. Now then, before we get started bulking up for the really realsies, we'll need a place to work at a pumping station. All you gotta do is build a room with a stick set of dumbbells and two mining tools and a towel inside it. It's gotta be a little fancy. We never get... Uh, Inch enough for Babs. One star fanciness Sh level should be plenty. I'm a man of simple pleasure, so stick with a few lanterns in there, and that'll be fancy enough for the likes of me. Each room has fanciness levels that change depending on the furniture inside and the blocks used for the walls and floors. Press back in a room to view the info about it. Cool, so in act chapter one, we learned about sizes, and in chapter two, we're learning about fanciness. I wonder if there's going to be a third tier to this. Very cool. So, let's get the, the basics again. What's, how, what's this? So, dumbbells, mining tools, tower rails. Did he say a size? Gotta be a fancy. So, he didn't say anything about size. Interesting. So, we're making a weight room. Where do we even put this? Hmm. I guess, like, here. Okay, do we have what it takes to make the dumb- look at- Dumbbells, two sets of dumbbells, two sets of mining tools, two towels. Okay, let's see how big these are. And some lanterns. So, two towels. Two dumbbells. Two tools. And he wanted some sort of fancy lantern. He just said a lantern is fancy enough for him, right? I only have enough for one. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, let's clear off our bar. Put some of this new stuff on here. Now, what about walls and floor pieces? We never ever got, like, some proper floor pieces. I think I'm just gonna keep it to the sand and put some... Mm. Where's my adobe walls? How many do I have? Build a few more just in case. All right. Oh, we're gonna need a door. Where'd our door go? Why am I not seeing it? There it is. Okay. <clears throat> so... I think it's always best to see how much space these things take up. So we put the shovels down, put the dumbbells down. That should be big enough. All right, let's get the walls down. Just need a spot for a door. There 
we go. And lantern. Towels. And door. Tiny pumping station. <laughs> Now, fanciness is not good enough. Let's see if another lantern will make it fancier. No, it's simply not fancy enough. We need another lantern, I think. Like a proper lantern. So we gotta get some more of that lantern oil. I wish there was more of those blobby blobs around this part of the desert. What can you do? Hmm. Well, I think we only really need like two oil. It should be uh, more than enough. Oh, there we go. Respawn rate's kind of slow. Okay. Let's see if this does the job. Aha! <laughs> Oh, slap me in the back and call me Margaret. You made a bumping station. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, I'm sure you notice you, you to put a bit more effort in when you make a room all nice and fancy. Uh, I'm not just saying it because I'm living how I life, but uh, if it was you, I'd try and add a bit more fanciness to every room you make. <laughs> Gore blimey, I nearly forgot. Mm -hmm. Babs, oh Babs, where are you? What can I do you for, Digby? Look, Babs, we got us a pumping station. We'll have a mass of muscles you're missing in no time. Then you can set the top into that cottontail costume. Oh, Digby, you silly sausage. That ain't your muscly... <laughs> that ain't it. You're muscly enough already. Uh, why don't you and Johnny put your heads together? I'm sure you'll work out what we need. <laughs> what? No, I ain't having it, Wall. What are you looking at, Johnny? Don't give me them eyes. <laughs> Serge, well, I had a voice for him. Hey, hey, Johnny. The others have been kind enough to fill me in on the situation. Miss Babs. I forgot what I did for his voice. What do you mean? You don't know who I am. I'm Serge, remember? I came to ring your bell. And you ought to be glad. When it comes to the fairer sex, these uncoth brutes have it thus foggiest. But I'm rather in touch with my feminine side. I know precisely what Babs needs before we will don that leotard a private chamber which to change. Put yourself in her place for a moment, would you? Feel comfortable changing your attire in this mire, testosterone, and triceps? Now, I heard you rather a dab hand when it comes to drafted blueprints. Perhaps you could design such a facility. A lady like her deserves a fresh of elegance, so be sure to put a plant pot in the room and plant a single gladius in it. Hmm. You can find such a flower in the watering hole northeast of here, through the valley. Pray pick them gently with your gloves. It won't do to plant, plant a pat of a bulb. I'm ever so excited to see what you could do with this tricky beef brief. Pray build whatever, whatsoever you will within the limits of the town. Uh. Uh. Yay. 
Babs's bedroom blueprint. So we got another blueprint quest. That'd be the second for this town. So this this town actually has a little bit more building, I would say, than uh, Farrowfield. Oh, and one more thing. Be sure to hang on to the nameplate on the wall and write Babs's name on it. That should keep any pesky peepers out. <laughs> That's great. A dressing table. Uh, keeping up appearance. You can alter appearance at any at, at a dressing table. Any changes you make are purely cosmetic and it won't affect the strength of your equipment. Cool. Well, when you created your character, there's only one hairstyle. I wonder if you can get more hairstyles and stuff like that. I know we got some glasses earlier as a reward. So maybe we could put those glasses on. Although I don't think glasses suit him. I don't wear glasses. Uh, someone got wrecked. Alright, let's, uh, let's check out the layout of this. Whoops. What did I just do? How did I pull that back up? Okay, wow, that is big. We have to do it within the confines of the base. We're really running out of space here. I'm just gonna have to plop it down here, I think. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's take a closer look at this blueprint. Adobe walls, wooden door, lantern, simple bed. Ooh, we haven't made a simple bed yet. Stone table, stone stool, dressing table, planted pot, a folding screen, the nameplate, the glad gladiolus. That's it. We should have all that stuff. And then we'll just get the flower to top things off. Do 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 one door, coming up. Mm -mm -mm. I want to remove some of these things from my bar. Get out of here. Yeah, we've been in this act for quite a while and we haven't had any... Uh, actual cutscene battles. Or maybe we found one down in the cave. That, I guess that would have counted as one, yeah. Um, in Faro Fields, they came to us. Oh, you know what? My controller just died. I was wondering why I couldn't move. I think this happened earlier. I think my batteries are dead. Let me get a pair out here. I'm gonna have to get like a charger pack or rechargeable batteries. Because uh, I went through two batteries quite quickly. I mean, how long was I playing for? I've been playing this game for probably about 20 hours combined, off screen and on. So batteries last about 20 hours in an Xbox controller. That's not enough time. All right, fresh batteries, we're good. I guess I could use my wired controller, but I like the feel of this one. It's more grippy. Um, what was I doing? Building stuff. Let's put this off the bar. A bed. I can't wait to start designing my own blueprints. I'm, I wonder if that's part of a quest. Mm. Hey, we got a rock bomb bed when we were down in the mine. A soft, fluffy sleeping space resembling a rock bomb. Is that it? Looks like we have everything we need. Let's get started. Building a dressing room. So, 
Let's take another look at the blueprint real quick. Adobe walls all along the outside. Let's see if I can memorize this. And there's our walls. So there was a thingamajig here. The stool went here. Whoops. Make sure it's pointing in the right direction. Dressing table goes... Ah! There. Table. Bed. Is the lantern here? Oh, the pot goes behind the bed. And what am I missing? The lantern goes on the table. I didn't really build a floor, but that's okay. Small private bedroom. Babs. We just need the flower. Appreciate me. Uh oh. Get out of here. We need to go find the flower now. So. Hey, wait. Okay, the door opens the right way. No waypoint. We're gonna have to run out there. Kill some more slimies on the way, so we get some more oil. Looks like we're getting hungry. Yeah, we don't have any... I thought for some reason we still had to do more mining because the golem's only at the copper stage. And I thought we would have an active quest to gain silver, but I guess she has. we have to do this dancing thing first. So they're, they're not willing to get that silver and gold until she's a dancer, apparently. I guess. Eh. That's the flower we're looking for, hopefully. Or is it the pink one? What does it say? Can I just destroy one and see? Uh, gladios... Gladiolus seed. That's it. Oh yeah, I can fast travel with things in my hands. The finishing touch. Aha! Rockin'. Whoa, that's a lot of hearts. 
spiffing job there, making such a splendid chamber for Babs, Johnny. Are uh, you sure this is what Babs is after? If you ain't got me hopes up for nothing, I'll never forgive you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Babs, Babs, come here, I want to show you something. Oh, you, you built a room for me? It'll be perfect for getting changed into me cottontail costume. Huh. I, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you... T Wait, you're a tick, you lot. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get changed. <laughs> oh, Johnny, I... I never knew that building could conjure such excitement, such anticipation. Gather around, everyone. I have something important to share. I hear I renounce my membership of the Children of Hagen. I become a cotton tailor and make the most dapper apparel uh, for dancey boys and girls across the land. Shut it, will ya? No one gives two shakes about fat rats rear and what do you do with your life? And uh, no, not when there's more important matters at hand. Babs, Babs, where are you at? Let's be having ya. What the hell? <laughs> oh, goodness. Ta-da! What do you think? Oh, my days! So, goodness gracious me... Oh, goodness gracious me! i never seen anything so beautiful! Uh, who's talking right now? We're done with the destruction. The children of Argon can do... No, do one. From now on, we're going to be builders just like Johnny. What do you reckon about my new outfit, Johnny? Does it suit me? <laughs> it's kind of adorable. Dee, thanks. I'm glad you like it. Babs, me want cotton tail costume too. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh my god. We got to get the golem in a cotton tail costume. Oh, Babs look very pretty. Most prettiest ever. So this is the famous Cottontail costume, is it? It is. She certainly looks a bit tougher than before. Uh, maybe it's those new horse she sprouted horns. Gee, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, lads. I'll, I'll do my best dancing girl on the island you've ever seen. Uh, make me, um, make me mom proud. Hmm, me sense monsters, many monsters near. Hold on. No! I had it, I had it, and lost it. We gotta get a... A screenshot of the new Babs. Why does it say gaze in direction, but... Oh, gaze is in player's direction? <laughs> this is great. Babs the Dancer. <laughs> Freaking amazing. The camera has this issue where it has like, it reaches a max distance. But if you reset it with the left joystick, you can kind of zoom in a bit more. I want to get as much into this photo as I can. I think that should be good. Let's get all them hearts. So we need to outfit our duties. do do duders With some gear. Probably going to need to make like... I don't know. Ten swords? Wait, was that stone? Frick. My bad. That's fine. Uh, 
I wonder if I can give them shields as well. We might as well try. Oh, these guys are all cowards. Oh, uh, I can't give them the shield. Nobody here wants to fight? Let's go, Digby. Oh, Babs will fight. Yeah. You go, girl. All right, that looks like it's all of our fighters. Let's get it. Bad news, Johnny. Metal Mickey here was right. There's an army of monsters closing in as we speak. I don't know if it's the pub they're aiming for or Goldilox himself, but I think one thing's for sure. This whole thing reeks of children of Arkin. Uh, how are your weapons? If any of these fellows can fight, you better give them a sword and something. We'll need our hands on deck for this one. So, do you think you're ready? Yes. Aha! That's what I wanted to hear. Let's meet these monsters head on and teach them a lesson they'll never forget! We fight too. Protect town. Protect Babs! You hear that? <laughs> you heard the golem. With him on our side, those monsters don't stand a chance. The battle commence. All right, so this is our first base defense. Let's get it. Let's see this golem in action. <laughs> I like his freaking seismic slam. Get him, boys. Look at all them numbers. Oh, shoot. I'm dying. Kill the casters! Oh! Jeez. Ow! Did that make medicinal herbs, I wonder? Two. I guess it's something. Holy moly, that did a lot of damage. Watch out! Level 15. Damn. Ashing all these monsters makes us tougher and tougher. Hey, Johnny, uh, don't you think about, it's about time we came up with some kind of super attack we could use to really show these monsters who's boss? Ooh, hells yes I do. Hmm, standing here thinking about it, it's just not going to do us any good. Let's just do what comes naturally and see what happens. Oh, snap. Oh, that's rad. <laughs> that's brilliant. Whenever we get really fired up in battle, let's unleash it on unsuspecting unsus monsters. Now, the question is, what should we call it? Uh, do I have to really name it? Johnny Johnny and Malros effortlessly graceful and dis decidedly deadly cooperative attack? <laughs> Sounds perfect. <laughs> Next time we've built enough power, just let me know when we'll unleash this or co-op de grace thingy in all of their faces. Co-op de grace. You might have noticed Malroth sometimes glows red during a fight. When he does, you can press the LB and A button at the same time to unleash uh, the Titanic Take Team Smash. It's sweet. Yay! 
Iron broadsword. Here we go. Victory. Did you see the symbols on their robes and shields? Those monsters were children of Hargan, all right. Who else, who else, eh? Once we started building here, it was only a matter of time before they came up to put a stop to it. I, I expect this is just the start. Me remember, remember who turned metal to stone. Who turned me to stone golem was Underseer Medusa. She controls island. She sounds like she's the Brady baboon we beat back in Farrowfield. I guess we'll just have to take her out too. Medusa Daedra has turned me to stone. Take away power. One power back. Me need gold. Need to become gold golem again to beat Medusa. Oh, you lot. You ain't gonna believe this. I mean, a couple of lads were digging away down the tunnel when uh, some kind of metal none of us ever seen before. Give me, give me a closer look at that. Why, that lump of theirs, pure silver. You say silver, me become silver golem, get power back. <laughs> Let's do it. First we turn him into silver golem, and then we go and go for gold. I say stuff the ch children of Argon and grab ourselves some as much silver as we can. It would seem the accursed builder is on our midst. What do you make of him? Pa, I've picked out worse from under my toenails. We need to disturb the overseer with such trifles. Agreed. Now is not the time to obliterate them. Let us bide our time until they have built this ramshackle hamlet into a thriving town. Then there will be more to destroy. Hargo will certainly approve, but we cannot let this heresy go unchallenged. Uh, what say we send our troops now and then and keep the scum on their toes? <laughs> that would be delightful. Have a fun, have fun playing with your little blocks, builder. Uh, for now, for it will not be your last. Mm -hmm. Want to become gold golem, but no gold, only silver. Find silver, become gold, silver golem, then find gold. Will gladly help, Goldie Rocks. How much silver will you be needing? Hmm. Off top, I had about three thousand. Oh boy. Free breeding thousand. Uh. Uh. You having a laugh, ain't you? Uh, what's this about? A uh, all about a couple hundreds of lumps of silver? Way it makes a big difference, you know. Sorry, me more accurate. Miner find one lump. So need 2,999 more. That better? <laughs> uh, don't listen to them, Golden Rocks. We will find the all the silver you need. Don't worry. I'll make sure those miners dig until their fingers bleed. Easier said than done, mate. You don't understand the mental strain working underground all day. It takes more than a few glasses of digger jigger to get over that. Well, what, what, do, I, what do we need, gorgeous new pup? We need help pep you up for some more mining. I think of that place that's bigger and better than Copper Bar. It'll have a counter in the back, a stage to dance on, the works. Oh, and I was about a big shiny swimming pool and all. Uh, would that do the trick? Holy moly. A pool up beer tonight, right? Wood, and that'll definitely get the mood, me in the mood for mining. A quick dick up, dip after relaxing me aching muscles. And uh, get me ready for the next day's digging. Yeah, it sounds like it would just be what we need, but where are we gonna put something like that? The town's crapped enough as it is. Well, what are you chatting, Doogie? Just call the boys and we'll clear the space easy. What about them rocks over there? They ain't doing enough from you, so let's smash them up and make a place for a new pub. Here we go, lads. Let's get shot on these rocks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You would have fun removing them rocks to make such a massive difference. Well, we've got plenty of space for that in the gaff now. I reckon you draw up some new blueprint for the second pub, Johnny. We can call it the Silver Bar. Wow. 
I had no idea this was gonna happen. I figured we were done with the bar stuff. So I'm assuming we're gonna have to make a gold bar too. Wow, that is huge. What the hell? <laughs> oh, good googly moogly, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That is quite something special. What about the water? She said the swimming pool. Oh, is that inside here at the back? Hmm, I'm not sure. Or is it just the whole bottom we fill? Maybe that's what... We need light boxes. We need silver, so we're gonna need to go mine our silver up. Ooh, deck chairs? Oh, those are awesome. Hooey, playing cards. Oh, sunbrella. Oh, we can put fountains in. That's freaking phenomenal. Oh my freaking goodness! Core blimey, it's beautiful. When it's finished, the silver bar will be a sight to behold. Is it a bar? Is it a pool? All I know is it's swanky ass. <laughs> we've got we've a gaff like this to come back to when we relieve the stresses of digging down in the darkest depths. Johnny, have new favor. You want here? Going for gold. Third favor, build suffer bar. Make lo lovely pub. Miners dig more. Get more metal. Lots more metal. A top-notch poolside pub like this will be a big boost on the miners' morale. Uh, they'll, they'll bag more silver and gold than you can shake a stick at. The only thing would get us going even more is somebody that did the crumb dumbling rumba for us. <laughs> crumb dumbling rumba. <laughs> it's the island's traditional dance. Treating the miners to some fancy footwork is sure to raise their morale even more. Not that I'm asking anyone in particular to take the stage. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. If it means Johnny and the lads will get more metal, I don't mind one bit. There's some kind of stage on that blueprint, right? Uh, it'd be a shame to, if it, no one used it. And besides, I'm a dancing girl now, after all. Babs always kind, always want to help. Me want to see Babs dance. <laughs> or you hold your horses, Goldie Rocks. I never said I'd do it now. The stage ain't even built yet. Once the pub's finished, I've had a ch and I've had a chance to practice me moves, then I'll dance for you. How does that sound? Hurry, everyone, build bar, me see Pab's dance. <laughs> this is so funny. Not this again. Do any of these idiots actually want to get the mind back working, or are they all interested in gopping gop at girls? <laughs> Just a bunch of perverts. It's so funny. Oh, I love it. So the next mission's sorted out. Think you can get down below and try to find some more silver? First, you need to find a vein. Lead the rest of the lads to it so they can get to work. Then bring me a few lumps back so I can check out the quality. Five should be enough. Where are we gonna find the vein though? Apart from that one lump, we ain't come across over silver. It must have been hidden behind some war rocks. What we can't break. Leave to me. Oh, you can help us? I thought you lost all your power. Give me them hearts. Ooh, 160 to go. We are getting close to leveling up here. Awesome. I'm sure that's what we need to get half that weird stuff that we saw for the blueprint. All right, Act 2 is shaping up to be a lot bigger than I imagined it to be. I thought it was going to be faster than Faro Field Farms, but it looks like it's going to be about equal, or if not a little bit longer, uh, considering all the stuff we're building. I mean, okay, we built the uh, armory, the bunkhouse, the pub, the little kitchen thingy, the weight room. What is that? And then the dressing room. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six buildings and a seventh coming up. In Furrow Field, what did we make? We had a barn, a bathhouse, an outhouse, a kitchen, and the 
the barracks. So five things, but we also made five different farms, five different fields. But those are not really construction heavy, but I did decorate them and make them pretty. And in theory, the kitchen, the bathroom, and the sleep house was all one. So you could kind of count that as one. So we made like three buildings there. This is a lot more building in this, ep uh, this act, which I actually prefer. Um, but now I kind of feel bad for like, I feel like I need to put roofs on everything and make this place pretty before we end off the episode, or actually uh, end off the act. Like I did with Act 1. However, none of this really matters. What really matters is our island. So I have to still decide what I'm going to do. It doesn't take too long to dress things up and make them pretty. So we'll see. Um, Alright, let's talk to the golem here. Here you have problem. Hard rock problem. Be help. But scared of tunnels. Can't go alone. Uh, Johnny, right on shoulders. Show way hard rocks. Punch hard rocks. <laughs> uh, have I got this? Hurry up and hop on, Johnny. All right, then, let's head down to the spot. Our mayor says he'll show us where he found the silver. Goldie Rocks, can you give Johnny piggyback? The rest of us will fall on foot. Come on, let's shake the leg. Press RB to get on Goldilocks' your shoulder. Once you're sitting comfortably, press Y to perform a power punch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. We need a snapshot of that. <laughs> well, these are two great thumbnails between um, Babs and this one right here. But I think the real hero of the episode is Babs. But this is freaking cool. It's like a vehicle. Let's go! Whoops. I was trying to sprint. The sprint button is the jump off button. So press Y? Oh my god. Did I just break the tracks? I totally did. I really had no choice. I'll have to fix it later, I guess. Oh, what's that? I uh, found some silver. There's more of these mines. I'll, I'll bet it's behind that wall. Smashy, smashy. I hope you're right. Now then, Goldilocks, time to work your magic and bless an old for these walks. One punch, but scared to miss. Johnny, tell me where and when. Ready, you say punch, me smash wall. He's scared. It's cute. Ha ha ha, hard rocks, no laughing now. Still weak, but not rest yet. More hard rocks ahead, maybe. Holy moly. That's thick. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. Clunk Lang! No one move! No one move. No strength left. Copper body too weak. Must rest. Take all the time you need, Gold Rocks. Now you've knocked through the walls. We don't need you, you anymore. <laughs> we don't need you anymore. Uh, me and the lads will make sure Goldie Rocks gets back to town, alright? You love press ahead and find that silver. Alright, just make sure you don't drop the geezer on your toes or nothing. Uh, we'll make this place a once over. There's gotta be more silver nearby. Hmm. Would you look at this place? Whoa, check that thing out, Johnny. What do you think it could be? Ooh, a lift. Maybe we could... Oh, shoot. That pit's the deepest place anyone's... Oh, that place... That deep... That pit's the deepest place anyone's ever been, us miners included. I don't know what's waiting for us down there. All right. Wow. Oh, uh, it's that time again. Well, will we get silver in this batch, I wonder? Nope.
All right, let's head on down. Oh. You hear that? Something magical is down here. I see light boxes too. Get a load of this place. This is the one of Canaveras Cave. Do you really think there's silver and gold in these tunnels? Uh, probably. If I find that, but the sheer for thrill of exploration has got me rooted to the spot. Or is that for fear? Either way, I can't stop shaking. And a bat. Uh, the butchers at that, Johnny. Uh, it's a bleeding Neverglow. All the way down here. Don't forget to activate it before you head to the top, unless you're trudging through the tunnel like a troglodyte. Speaking of tunnels, there's a blinking big one over there. Come on, let's go. Let's take a closer look. All right. Core blind me, Johnny. I forgot that you left me. I can't see nothing in this rotten darkness. Anyway, me and Abs are going absolutely awire, so there's got to be something silver up ahead. If we weren't so dark and scary, I'd be down that tunnel like a shot. Lucky for us, there's some sconce and linen in the walls. All we need to do is light them up. Well, I say we, but actually I mean you. I got dark phobia, I'm telling you. Uh, if a monster jumped at me, I'd be have bleeding heart attack. Sorry, mate, but you and Mal Rafi are gonna have to handle this one. Oi. Are you gonna be needing this? I picked up on the way over. Okay. You can use that torch to relight all the sconce in the tunnel and it ain't bulging until I see the place nice and bright, alright? Alright, time to light this place up. All right, let's try this out. Well, you know what, guys? It's like proper bedtime now, even though I took a nap. I should probably uh, consider going to bed here. I want to keep playing, but I put a lot of time in today. And we made a lot of progress in Act 2. I mean, a lot, a lot of progress. It's been great. And with the little intro that I gave earlier, combined with this 15 minutes I just recorded, we should be at about an hour now. So very fun stuff. Uh, I'm excited. We're going to go light up the cave in the next... Or I guess I could just light up the cave and then the next episode we'll see. Yeah, I might just do a little bit. Get some silver, go up top, and we'll just get the silver rolling. And uh, I guess in the next next episode, you guys will watch me build the silver bar. That should be pretty fun. Looking forward to seeing that. And everyone will finally get to see Babs do her dance. Uh, she got her costume in this episode. We built a, what, uh, a dressing room. All sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, lots of progress in this one here today. So thank you guys once again for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below. What do you think of the game so far? Are you still enjoying it? What do you think of Act 2 and all these characters? Um, I'll be sure to read all your comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.